career, but one field that's remained largely a man's world mm -hmm. is trade jobs like plumbers and electricians and carpenters. But that's I changing. Like those guys. But that's changing. <laughs> and here to tell us more about these modern day Rosie the Riveters is career expert Susie Welch. Hello. 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 Well, Rosie the Riveters, women who were handy with tools, were the norm during World War II. But for nearly 50 years after that, the idea of women wielding tool belts was relatively unheard of. Now, more and more women are trying a career in trade on for size, and they're finding the sky's the limit, both personally and professionally. Alyssa Riera stands just four foot 11, but says she's found a career that makes her feel larger than life, carpentry. So I took some time off trying to figure out what I was doing, and I quickly realized uh, that I wanted to work with my hands. Myrtle Wilson, single mom of two, thought she'd never break free of the need to work two jobs until she stumbled into construction. I was working seven days a week, killing myself, and ends just weren't meeting. And a childhood friend of mine said, well, what do you think about trying your hand at construction? Alyssa and Myrtle are two of a growing number of women for whom a career in trade has proven to be the ideal fit. I'm making like a really good living, and every year you get a pay raise. Wow. You also have your pension, you have your annuity, you have medical benefits. It's wow. all really, really fantastic. Women hold just 4% of trade jobs in the U.S., an industry that includes laborers, electricians, plumbers, and carpenters. Still, that's quadruple the number of women that worked in trade 40 years ago, and the numbers continue to climb. Master electrician Veronica Rose says in an age where women can struggle for wage equality, the trades can be a terrific option. If you go into the organized trade unions as a woman, you're in the top 20% of earned income for all women in the United States. Veronica entered the field in 1979 and managed to balance a husband and five children with a career as an electrician. Today, she helms her own five million dollar firm. You said it's easier to raise a building than raise a family. Oh, it's 10 times easier. If you can bake a cake yeah. and follow directions, you have the potential as a woman to become one of the best craftspeople in the trades in the United States. I am sweating, is that okay? It's okay, all right, okay. I wasn't so sure it could be as easy as oh, baking yeah. a cake, oh, yeah. but then I visited the Women and New. That stands for Non-Traditional Employment for Women, an organization committed to helping women land jobs in the trades. They gave me a crash course in carpentry, training me how to use a circular saw. Like a boss. The hardest part about working in trade, according to the women we spoke with, is proving to others that they can do the job. Most of the guys, once they see that you're a worker and you get in those trenches right alongside them, you kind of pay your dues and you get that yeah. respect. As for employers, many told us they like what women bring to the job site. In the past three years, uh, we've hired uh, of an abundance of women because of uh, how I feel about women in the business and I think that they're uh, actually more efficient than some men in the business today. That's music to the ears of Hallie Hempel, who says she struggled for years to find her place in the world. In high school, I, I never did that great. Um, I, I struggled with learning disabilities and um, I found that I learned a lot of things hands-on. Now, hard at work at constructing a new 25-story cancer hospital She's responsible for helping lay the beams. Hallie says things are looking up, way, way up. I think a lot of our viewers will be watching this, and they will be attracted to some of the same things you were attracted to, which is not going into an office every day. Oh, I hate that. I hate going into an office every day. I like that I can wake up, and I don't have to put on makeup or impress anyone. I never knew what I wanted to do, and then when I started doing this, I was just so excited because it was something that I could put my, my entire body and my entire mind into. And to be pay for it. Yeah, and to be paid for it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I love what I do, and I think I'll always love it. Susie, I love this. I this is awesome. These women were so impressive, yeah. and I was scared when I was there in their school learning yeah. how to do it. But wait, wait, I made you. you I did. I made you afraid. Oh, I, did, I made this. And if I can do this, there's hope for anybody, okay? Yes. Because I, this was not my forte. And they make up to like $60 an hour, yeah, you're saying. such it. a living. I mean, five years out, you can make 54, 60, 60 bucks an hour. If you've been in retail or in childcare, yes. I mean, this is a life-changing way to 
do work. And I'm, I love option. it. And That's you said fantastic. they're still outnumbered by men. Yes. So what if they say the, the feeling is like, the yeah. atmosphere is but like. But we ask them, you know, what is it? do the men hassle you? Do they harass you? And they were like, no, you know, first of all, they're trained by the union not to do that. But it's come a long way. If you can do the work, they respect you. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these men, they have daughters or sisters or wives, and they, they don't give you a hard time the way you might expect. So You might break a nail or two, though. Yeah, you got to <laughs> be careful. All right. Thanks, Susie. Thank you so much. All right. In the New York City area, you, uh, you said yeah, something. Women, but... are, women who are interested in these trade careers can check out NEW, the non-traditional employment for women organization. And outside of New York, women should check out the Department of Labor's website for a state-by-state -state breakdown on how to pursue a career in the trades. So great. Awesome. God bless Thank you. They're all awesome. Get ready to say boom.